Wake up. It doesn't matter what country you're from. You could be a fucking Martian. If you got a client that's a little baby, it's a little baby, he wants to shit his little diapy and wants you to fix it, um, no, you just, just get rid of those people. Just avoid them at all costs. That's uh, the definition of a loser. Just disgusting, disgusting creatures. I'm just here in my art studio, some paintings I'm working on. First of all, Derek helped me make quite a lot of money in the market. I'm up 30%, which is actually not a lot compared to how much Derek is up. You can see on his Instagram, he's looking at like 200. <laughs> but this was my first time investing and uh, he helped along with that. The homework sessions that we're having here are really, really, really helpful. Even though I'm not a business, I can still apply all these concepts to what I'm doing. And they get me thinking hard about what my next plan is and what to do. It's like a little baby. I shit my diapy. I need some help. People write my DMs. You know, I have quite a lot of people on Instagram, but almost 350,000. That number is growing very rapidly. You know, people write me to Derek. I, you know, I need help. So, well, you got to have to help. Your, you're going to want to have to help yourself first. I can't help anyone who doesn't want to help themselves. Derek, I need help. Just pay my pay my bills or something, Derek. Imagine a grown man writing another grown man, saying, "Pay, pay my bills." How pathetic. How pathetic. And then they say, Derek, I'm from this country or this country or this country. Will this work for me? We're talking about economics. We're going to talk about economics. We're going to talk about psychology. We're going to talk about you know, entrepreneurship and, and global investing, investing in global markets. Well, Derek, will it work in my country? It, it, you wouldn't even have to be on Earth. You could be a fucking Martian with a good Wi-Fi connection to a satellite. If you were a Martian that could connect to a satellite, you'd be able to participate in the, in the, the, the global economy of the Earth. It doesn't matter what country you're from. Wake up. It doesn't matter what country you're from. You wouldn't even have to be an Earth dweller. You wouldn't even have to be an Earth dweller for the things to be true. You could be a fucking Martian that connected to a satellite and you can interchange with the global economy here on Earth. But Derek, I'm only 17. Or you know, Derek, I, I, I've been divorced. You know, no wonder she left you. No wonder she left you. If you like your excuses more than you like your outcomes, this is not the right group of people for you. If you're in love with your excuses, Derek, I'm from, I'm, I'm from a poor country. Derek, I'm, you know, Derek my, I'm recently divorced. They took half my shit. Yeah, dumbass, I wonder why. I wonder why. Derek, I'm only 17. The, for the person that says, Derek, am I too young? Derek, am I too young? When would be the right age for you to learn something? Would you like to wait until you're 70? Should you go through your life as an idiot? And then five, six decades later, you say, you know what? Maybe I should learn something before I die. Yeah, there's no better time to learn something. The best time to learn something was in the past. And the second best time to learn something is today, right now. It's the best time you could learn something. All right. Another common question. So I'm saying these ahead of time so I don't have to deal with them here. Other common question. You know, Derek, how much money do I need to get started? Start where you're at. Where the fuck else would you start? Where the fuck else could you start except where you're at right now? What, this is not fantasy talk. We're going to talk about reality. What's the reality of the situation like? Where else could you start except where you're at right now? Start where you're at. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're rich or poor, if you're smart or dumb, take inventory of your life, and you gotta be smart enough to look at it objectively. It's like, well, I'm pretty good at some things. I suck at most things. That's every human, by the way. That doesn't matter if you're a doctor, it doesn't matter what you are. If you have a doctorate degree, that still means you're pretty good at some things. You're pretty dumb at most things. That's what a doctor is. That's what, you know, I have three college degrees. I spent nine years in university. I have a master's degree from the University of Chicago, the Booth School of Business. It's the number one ranked business school while I was there. You know, I'm pretty good at a few things. I'm really quite excellent at a few things. Plenty of things I don't know about. I'm not, I wouldn't be a great heart surgeon. It'd be, it would end badly. I shouldn't be your golf coach. But if you want to learn about real estate, or if you want to learn about entrepreneurship, if you want to learn about how global markets work, the stock market, cryptocurrencies, foreign exchange, etc. The real shit, not the fucking bullshit, fake internet shit. I'm really great at that. I can help you with that. I can help you understand that a lot better. So, wherever you're at, start there. Whatever age you are, start there. Whatever country you might live in and you might be listening in from, good, start there. That's where you're at, asshole. 
accept your current circumstances, and then, and then we got to get to the question, what would be necessary for, how, well, where am I, how am I, what's my, what's my balance sheet look like, what would be necessary for me to get more of what I want? And then we focus on that. How can we get you more of what you want? How can we get you more of what you want? So that's the main thing we're going to talk about here. I'm going to scroll up from, uh, from some of these. Um, when the people say, uh, you know, when is Derek coming? I'm seeing those on, on some of your comments. When is Derek coming? Fuck you. When is Derek coming? When is Derek coming, Travis? Travis, when is Derek coming? Whatever the fuck I feel like it. It's a privilege that you're here. It's a privilege that I invited you here to spend hours of my life helping you with something. If you don't feel appreciative of that, please leave. Feel free to leave any moment. Feel free to leave. It'd be like if I had a meeting with fucking Warren Buffett. So when is Warren coming? When is Warren coming? So how pathetic. Just how pathetic. How pathetic. Anyone who's offended by that, please leave. If you don't feel it's a privilege to be here with me, please leave. I don't want to work with you either. I don't want your money. I don't want your friendship. There's nothing you could do. There's nothing we could do together. If you don't feel like it's a privilege to be here right now, if you're not appreciative that I took hours out of my day to help you with something, please leave. Go fumble around by yourself. My clients won't mind. I won't mind it. Travis, would you miss those people? Nope. None of us will miss you. My clients won't miss you. I won't miss you. Travis won't miss you. We'd love for you to leave. I'd pay money for those fucking losers and idiots to leave. I feel so happy for those people to leave. Feel free. Uh, I'm scrolling up. I'm going to find some questions in here from, uh, let's see where, where uh, the chat room started off with me versus, there we go. There's the, the homie Yanni. I recognize the name and he's saying, addressing the Derek. Yanni says, hey Derek, my question is, regarding private piano teaching business, my ideal target audience is anyone who is willing to learn to play the piano the right way. Um, to improve their technique and are also willing to unlearn the bad playing habits they have. The audience I would hate to have is someone who isn't willing to put in the work. How can I attract the right audience for me? Loving the Moneyberg Mentoring Course, the Fallacies Checklist is a, is a valuable asset, exclamation. You know, Yanni, I'm doing it right now. Yanni, I'm going through that process with this broad audience right now that um, I'd like to honor the smart people. I'd like to honor the people that, that if you have a good work ethic, you don't have to be a fucking genius, right? but if you got a good work ethic and an average IQ and, uh, and you're willing to put in some hard work, I could help that person a lot, as you know. Those are our type of people, Yanni. Those are our type of people. Now, if it's somebody who's you know, addicted to mediocrity, you know, um, has been cursed with stupidity, is addicted to mediocrity, addicted to poverty, I can't help somebody that doesn't want to help themselves. So the best way that I found, Yanni, to be, to be clear with an audience about that is just tell them. Tell them very bluntly. Tell, tell them more bluntly than a normal person would deem reasonable. It's like, who are the right people that would, would benefit, that it would be in their selfish best interest to work with someone like me? And you have to convey that same thing, Yanni. Who are the people that, if you're like this, like this, like this, it would clearly be in their selfish best interest to take piano lessons from you? Uh, and, if it's not that type of person, you don't want to frustrate yourself with them. I don't, want to, I don't have any time. Your time is your most valuable asset. There's nothing more precious than your time. Your time is your most valuable asset. There's nothing more precious than your time. Money buys you the freedom to have your time back. The money buys you your time back. The money buys you the freedom to spend your time doing what you'd like to do instead of some fake bitch shit that you feel like you have to do. So you don't want to spend your time with the wrong people. You pay good money to avoid the wrong people. You pay a lot of money to avoid being around imbeciles and idiots and losers and time squanderers. And a person who, a person who wastes a minute of their life with a fool, they themselves are behaving foolishly. And the sooner they wake up and cut those people out of their life, the, the better their outcomes are going to be. The sooner you wake up and cut the fools and time wasters out of your life, the better your outcomes are going to be. You're going to, you're going to enjoy your life so much more. You're going to enjoy your life so much more. So um, just be very clear with people. Just be very clear that you know, anyone who doesn't respect my time, they're not going to get any of it. I'm, I just got to keep it moving and talk to somebody else. And I think you know, the, the sooner you, including your clients, including your clients, and you know, the sooner you do that, the sooner you realize that um, 
if you provide a lot of value, if you help people accomplish important things in their lives, they'll treat you with that respect. If, if you respect the client and you help them in a serious way, they'll treat you with that respect. If you've got a client that's a little baby, it's a little baby, wants to shit his little diapy and wants you to fix it, um, now you're, just, just get rid of those people. Just avoid them at all costs. That, that's uh, the definition of a loser. Just disgusting. Disgusting creatures. Disgusting creatures. One of the key takeaways I've gotten from the program so far is that I underestimated the role that human psychology plays in the pricing and investments and the functioning of markets. I've always relied on the experts that I'd see on TV or in the papers, people with finance degrees or, or MBAs, to decipher the markets for me. What Derek has given us is the information and tools we need both to do the mathematical analysis, but also to understand the psychological factors behind how the markets work. Mm -hmm.